Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of War Tales. Last episode, we killed the Creeper King, and found an artifact that we ended up giving to the Inquisitors, effectively throwing them a bone. They considered it a holy artifact, it only seems fair. Now, I think what we're going to do is head over to here and see if we can figure out what is over here, because we stumbled across this location. Well, we didn't actually go into the location, but I'm curious what's happening here. Celestial Mountain Gate. Turn back, mercenaries. For your own safety, this mine is about to collapse. Is it now? Location defended. Why do I have a feeling this is connected to this one over here? Hmm. Okay, well, we do have to go to the Cursed Village of Asphal. Weapon-wise and the like, well, we do have things that need to be gotten rid of. Okay, so we'll come back here. I would not like to fight those things, so I guess I need to wait for them to run off. Please move. Thank you. Now. We could go for the Cursed Village of Astral. Mmm, we may as well. Let's head for the Cursed Village of Astral and see if we can deal with that area. Which is going to be a challenge in itself. Ooh. We could do a rest and use the thing that gives us one more point of willpower. That would actually be a good idea. That would actually be a very good idea. Also, you. I would like to sell you some things. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sir? That, 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 and that. Thank you very much. Okay. So, this is a cursed village of Astral. There's nothing else in that direction, just a barrier. So. Oh, yeah! That's Astral, and we've been to New Astral. Now it makes sense. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do a rest. Ilanev, oh, you can't do ta well. You're uh, you're fine not doing tasks. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so you are researching a treasure of the ancients. That's fine. We don't really have anything to cook, so let's see here. Paying the troop, of course. Uh, where is the jam? There it is. Willpower increased by one. Uh, let's see. Profession experience might not be a bad thing, and we'll be able to get rid of that. That's fine. Uh... Strength would be a good increase. We don't need Wolf in the Hop. Not at all. I guess the con bonus would be good. And I'll take two fish. Everyone else is taking care of things. Put all those in there. Everyone else is getting stuff from the Crystal Skull. You guys are training up. Oh, we don't have any ale. Okay, my mistake. One wine. There we go. And rest. There we go! We gained a knowledge point. We have a lot of knowledge points. Jeez. <clears throat> I don't know what sociopath would really help with. I'm still not sure about op <coughs> optimized gear. Skillful extraction I don't care about. I n never got that one and I don't know why. Everything else? Oh, that's the ear net.
Yeah, for the most part, I'm saving up these points for construction materials and the like. And other things like that. I don't really have anything from the apothecary table I need to make. So, I'm fine saving these up. Alright, let me drop a save and then we'll look in here. Alright, let's do some looking around the cursed village of Astal. Form a group of scouts who are determined and stealthy enough to explore the abandoned village discreetly. Alright, so... We do have a lot of quiet, guys. We are going to need someone who's a lockpicker. Who is our lockpickers? Deacle is journeyman. Fulolf is novice. So we need Deacle. Deacle, you are... There you are. Not going to be the best, but it is something. Let's see. Alarin doesn't do much noise. <clears throat> has the willpower bonus. And would be able to do a lot of damage. Argoon is heavy. So would be able to do a lot. Alani would be able to help a bit. And we're relatively silent, which is good. And would be he'd be able to do a lot of damage. Fly would make us noisy. Gurlin would keep us relatively silent. Who is the lowest noise? I think Gurlin would be the best option. I mean, I could take Hammy. No, I could take Tiny. Tiny's a tank. And would be able to take advantage of Deacle. You know what? Sure. Let's do some exploring. You didn't see the wolf until you were inside the building. Cornered and trapped, the animal becomes agitated, but a determined companion could calm him down. Deacle, you are our, our huntsman. Terrified by Deacle's voice, the, vo the wolf decides to jump through a partition rather than stay with your group. Give me a moment. Alright, let's try that again. Let's see. So, Argoon, Alani, Alarin. Deacle and Tiny. Let's try that again. Let's try Argoon. Argoon's words managed to win the animal over. We have a wolf on our side now. A level 12 wolf. Holy crap. Okay. You know what? I'm fine with that. Deals damage and they can gain deflection. Each attack against the unit without armor applies bleeding. Let's see. If there are at least three wolves in the troop, the unit's critical hit is increased by 50. When not engaged in combat but near an ally, it gains fragility but gives protection to the ally. Eh, I guess I can take that. Each time this unit kills an enemy, it heals itself, or this unit is healed for 30% of its max health and all of its debuffs are removed. I'll take Licking Wounds. If your troop is attacked during a rest, it is immune to surprise and this unit gains galvanization, or a chance to catch wild game. We'll go with wild game. And critical hits against this unit turn into regular hits, and the unit counters with an attack of opportunity. Nice. After attacking, this unit applies scared. This unit causes an extra 10% morale loss when they die. Interesting idea. Primitive reflexes would keep it alive. I mean, its health isn't bad. It has less health than the 
than uh, Hammy, though, and I'm not going to want him to be attacked. Let's go with Howling at the Moon. Alright, give it all the willpower. Critical hit bonus. Movement bonus would be nice. Give it an... Uh, let's give them critical hit. Movement bonus to 16. Above critical hit. Strength can go up. Constitution improvement. Crit again. Can, uh, you know what? We'll give it the movement bonus. Crit once more. And the last points... We'll improve strength to 60. That will do. We'll find something that we can give you. Now let's see. We've got fish hooks and wine. Something that needs to be lockpicked. Okay. I am going to save before we try this because the lockpicks suck. Alright, let's try this again. Lockpicking. Got one. Got two. Good news is we got two of them. There we go. Okay. We've got crowns and the king's feast. Movement speed in the snow. If the troop is one. Okay. That's Mountaineer's Hot Pot and Roasted Chicken and Blue Sauce. It's actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Let's learn that. I don't think we have any. But we sh No, we can cook one. Not a bad idea. All right, we'll save before we check the next location, bit by bit. All right, back into the Cursed Village. Let's take a look at this one. Noise is getting high. Very high. Let's see, we've got bait and some Gosenberg wine. Beer, bait, wine, and fish hooks. What have we got in here? Plague-ridden bodies are lying across the basement floor. Only someone agile enough could safely step over them to reach the large wooden chest. Alani, you're quite agile, I think. And we've got an officer's pylum and a fugitive's tunic. Not exactly really good stuff. I could wake them up! That sounds like a bad idea, so we're not going to. And the next location we investigate is going to cause a fight. So let me drop a save again. Alright, so if I remember, what we need to do is catch three Plague Ridden. Plague Ridden incoming. Okay! So we have two over here. You are going to head over to here and engage one. I didn't expect that to happen. That's a little concerning. Okay, Deagle. You are going to tell the bear to attack that. Now I think... Knock it out. Didn't actually work. That's a bother. Not quite what I was hoping for. Alright, Alarin, you can at least... You can almost kill it. And find a way out. 
All right, Argoon, you can come on over and finish this thing off, I guess. Thank you, ma'am. Find a way out. You can come over and also try to find a way out. All right, we've got more here. Deagle. You are not adjacent to any. That one's going to be the next one. Tell you what, you... What is this thing's range? Yeah, it is going to come to us. You can kill one of them. Surprisingly, it didn't die, but we can kill it in a moment. There we go, that one's down. All right, bear. Once again, we're gonna try this. That bear is taking a lot of damage, which isn't really great. Okay, Argoon. I'm amused that you can try and bribe it, but... Okay, we do this. Try and capture it. Son of a bitch! Fine, finish him off. All right, Alani, sorry, Deacle. You can't really do too much. You can send that out. Fall back, please. Search for a way out. This is actually going to be very tough. Okay, you... Head on over. That killed him. Pull back. You know what? This is really not going to work. I'm actually going to reload here because I have a better idea. We're going to be starting a fight anyway, so how how about we just change everything and take all of our guys? That doesn't seem like the worst idea. So let's just take our heavy our heaviest guys. Balai, Argoon, Alarin, Burnmower, Kalen, Deagle. Now, don't bother with Deagle. Cass, Adelold, Ilanev, Ravita, Justine, Yarek. Yeah, we'll basically just take all of our guys. Alani. Too noisy. Okay. <laughs> Fine. There we go. We can't go above a hundred, I guess. Uh, let's not bother with Ilanev. Burnmower's heavy. And that brings us to a hundred. That'll work. And in come the Plague Ridden. Now we can focus on taking these guys out. So let's see here. We gotta focus on taking care of the Plague Ridden. So let's see. Burn Mauer. You can get this guy's attention. And you will counter his attack, which is fine. 
And go ahead and weaken him so he does less damage to you. That's pretty good. Oh, he heals up. I forgot about that. Alright, uh, the Plague Rat. Tell you what, Fly, you can go over and deal with the Plague Rat. That was not a problem. In fact, maybe you can take care of the Plague Ridden, too. That is actually absolutely not what I wanted, but okay. Everyone else, just gather together and we're going to find a way out. This is gonna take a while. Oh yeah, you're here. And you as well. You can go over to here. There we go. All right. Creeper. Creeper we don't need to fight. Plague ridden we do. Plague ridden there. Plague ridden there. All right. Alarin, you can kill the creeper. Perfect. End your turn. Now then, that plague ridden is going to be next. Burn Mauer, go ahead with a slice. He will repost onto you. Yeah, go ahead with a taunt. And he does heal. Which is a problem. Next is that plague ridden. Fly, you can go ahead and just slice him. Uh, slice him from here. And you get a free attack to kill him. That's fine. Alright, you know what? Kick this one. Not quite enough to ki to bring him down, but we'll give it a try. Let's see. Adult. You, we can give a try. Torch Strike will bring him quite low. And knock it out. Okay. We have one Plague Ridden. We need to get two more. I think Yerik will be able to take care of the second. Alright, give this one a try. Knock him out, 57. Didn't work. We'll give another guy an attempt. Let's see, just steam. Not the worst chance. Give it a try. Double strike would kill it. 57% again. Again, a fail. Uh, how about you? There we go. We got a second one. Everyone else is going to search for a way out. Right, they're bursting in again. 
Plague ridden, plague ridden, plague ridden. That's a lot of plague ridden. Alright, Alarin, you can kill this one. Almost. Why can you kill that one, but not that one? Strange. What if I move you over here for the lone wolf? Alright, now you'll kill that one, that's fine. Next is gonna be that one, so... Hey Adelol, do what you can to this thing. Burning. And one of the axes. Good. And Bravita, you can knock that guy out. Burn Mauer, let's get you on this thing. You've got a counterattack. Go ahead and weaken him again. Place is starting to come down. So that one's gonna be next. Tell you what, Alani. What's the chance of capturing this thing? I can't see it. 75%. Let's give it a try. Alright, we got our third plague ridden. Hey, I had a feeling that was going to go for J for Yarrick. That one's going to be next. Hey, just Steam, you can get some good smacks on this thing. Very nice. And you know what? Song of the Ancients? Not a bad idea. All right, Fly, how about you work on taking this guy down? You know what? That's perfectly fine. You can do Oh wait, you need to you're engaged, so that's actually a problem. Okay, he's held he's handled. Uh, ooh, intervention. That's actually a better idea. Beautiful idea. All right, Yarrick, you can get a piercing throw to finish this guy off. Find a way out. Everyone else, work on finding a way out. You cannot retreat. Noted. That's actually a little concerning, so we do need to find the way out. Ooh, you can finish off this. Actually, leave him there. Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, those guys are kind of stuck. You. You can finish off that one in the next turn. That one's going to be next, so... Tell you what. Try and find a way out. And head over to here, kick this guy. Beautiful job! That one's gonna be next, and then that one, and then that one who is surrounded. So you are gonna go over to here and just engage him. Alright, next is gonna be that one. Alarin, that's on you. Finish him off.
Okay, next up. We leave that guy there, that's fine. He'll engage Burnmower. That one will be killed, that one's just a creeper, that one we'll have to do something about. Uh, Adult. You, I think, would be a good choice. Do a find a way out. Burn this guy. Let's give him a rampage. There's a good amount of damage. Battle cry would actually be good. I knew that was gonna happen. That one can't go anywhere, so that's perfectly fine. Burn Mauer will just hold him off. He should have tried to find a way out. He can't do that now. Encouragement actually would be a good thing. Alani can help out, though. Okay, who's next? That one is going to attack Adelolt, who is not in very good shape now that I see all this poison. Ooh. Okay, so find a way out. Smoke screen, free attack on the plague ridden. That is not going to do any damage. So just fall back a bit, please. Okay. Okay, that one died. That's good. Okay, the creeper can't go to anywhere, so we're fine. Yarek could do damage to the two of them, but that's not important. Argoon. I mean, deafening roar would be very interesting, but no, we need to get a we need to get out of here now, like ASAP. Okay, throw one of those. That's at least a little bit of damage, and fall back to here. Creeper does nothing. You can do an encouragement, which will help out quite a bit. And give this thing a slash. You are coming up to Burnmower, that's fine. Burnmower is taking a lot of damage, which is not fine. Okay, that one's gonna be next, and then that one. So... Let's see what we can do here. Find a way out. You can Arterial Precision. And you can finish him off with a Fatal Touch. There we go! Sorry, finish her off with a Fatal Touch. And Fly killed that one. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, Argoon. Let's give you a Find a Way Out. And do what you can against this guy. You might be able to finish him off. Not quite finished off, but it is a good amount of damage. And you... Find a way out. We're close. Skullbreaker. Good, that one's dead. Now meet leave there. Alright, we should be able to get out next round. Though we are getting a little overwhelmed. Okay, maybe more than a little overwhelmed. That Plague Ridden is first.
Tell you what, Justine. I want you to find a way out. And engage this. Oh, no, we found our way out. Okay. That was not very pleasant. But we did get out. Ugh. Yeah, uh, get rid of everyone, please. And just for the sake of setting it up again for later, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. But we're going to look around later, and I am going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to repair our guys. And I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, okay, Yerik, treat your injury. Justine, treat yours. Oh, I think we're fine. Adelalt, okay, you can be treated. Ilanev, you're fine. Justine, you're fine for now. All right, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to take a quick step down into the, into the laboratory, and then we're going to come back up and deal with the village. Actually, no, we'll finish the village first. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44. I'll send in his fly. That is. Alarn, Alani, Argon, Garland, Hackard, Rufus, Hossing on, Birdmauer, Deacle, Kalen, Cast, Adol, Ilanev, Fulof, Bravida, Justine, Yerik, and me. This has been a Let's Play of War Tales, and I shall see you all next time.